Caged Expeditions. My name is George, your host, and boy, do I have a very special episode for you guys today. Today, getting a Unichip Q4 installed in the Big Bad Land Cruiser, and so very excited about that, and also very excited to do a comparison between the Steinbauer, which the Land Cruiser's got at the moment, and the Unichip Q4. Now, I've had a few Steinbauers in a few of my cars and been very, very happy with them. They're very reliable. It's a very, very good product. But in recent years, obviously, dyno tuning, putting your car on the dyno and getting the best results, that's become a big thing. Now, there are a lot of mobs that are doing it out. You see them on the internet, on, you read them in magazines, you see it. Um, everyone is doing tuning. Now, I personally don't like remapping the factory computer, um, just because if anything happens, you know what, you can't just unplug or turn off or whatever the case may be, and go back to your standard settings of the computer. So I don't like playing around with that. So the Unichip Q4 um, basically plays with all the parameters in the computer, but doesn't physically create any changes in the factory computer. So it can be taken back to standard very, very easily. And so yeah, very excited. Now you may ask, who's gonna do the job for me? Well, if you live in Melbourne, Victoria, and you wanna get a uni chip done and get it done correctly, mate, there's no one else, Dynamotive. Excuse me. They're a very big name, very reputable company, and they've been around for a very long time. Hopefully we'll get to meet Paul as well and he'll have a bit of a chat to us. Um, but very excited. I'm on my way down there now. It's about a quarter to seven in the morning. Um, they are located in Bayswater in Victoria, um, which is about an hour from my house because I live on the other side of Melbourne. So we're making the trip down there. Now, it's a pretty foggy morning actually, so it's beautiful. Anyway, I'll keep driving. i got my V in hand for anyone that knows me. My blue Vs, love them and I'll see you soon. Okay, we've arrived at Dynamotive. Um, let's go inside, meet Paul, and give us a bit of a rundown of what's happening today, what he's gonna do to the car. Oh. Maybe I should speak to Paul and tell him to put this engine in the Land Cruiser, what do you reckon? Unichip signs. Dynamotive. Okay. Let's go in and see if Paul's inside. G'day Paul. Hey, How are you? Good, Very good, how's that going? Busy. Busy? As always. Beautiful, good to hear. Yeah. Mate, I'm excited. What are we doing with the truck? So, we've obviously got a Unichip kit. Yep. I think it's a very good decision. Beautiful. This is a Unichip kit here. Perfect. Containing the Unichip Q4. Yep. Um, this is the brains of the unit. Okay. Um, now, and I'm sure Rob and Rich, the guys yep. who are fitting and tuning the car, will go yep. into detail what this actually does. Excellent. But basically, it's the brains. This allows us to give us the control. So this does um, fuel control, yep. uh, injector timing, mm -hmm. um, injector volume is done through these two D4D drivers. Okay, I'll yep. To those in a minute. Yep. Um, this also does uh, boost control, mm -hmm. and we've got water temperature protection for safety. Yep. And we've got the throttle control built into this, uh, this unit here. So that's a Q4. Yep. And as I said, these are the two D4D drivers. All right, excellent. Specifically designed for the um, yeah Toyota turbo diesel. Yep. So we've got one for your left back that controls four injectors. Yep. And your right hand back. Beautiful. So you get a stubby holder. Excellent. Can't go wrong. Every black. <laughs> and of course the uh, the loom itself. Yep. So we'll be fitting all of this. This sits plugs in. Yep. To your uh, factory ECU. Okay. It's yep. your factory ECU. Mm -hmm. And your factory harness. Yep. Is uh, plugs exactly the same as factory ones. They yep. have reduced awesome from the same company. Perfect. 
So Very good. Yeah, good so quality. We're fitting these. Yep. And um, you've also opted today to get the map select switch. Beautiful. A bit of fun. Well, yeah. You can always play with something, it always has a bit of excitement in there. That's exactly right. Excellent. So we'll be fitting all of that. Yep. And then uh, Rich and Rob will be fitting this. Yep. And then putting it on the dyno and giving it a live dyno tune. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I've also, as you know, I've got the slime barrel on there now. Yes. So at the end, we'll be able to do a with a slime barrel graph, without it, see what the differences are. Because slime barrel is good too, um, even though it's more of the off the shelf kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but this is next level. Yeah. This, this is, is all custom. Level. Yeah. So. And how long have you guys been dealing with the Unichip? Uh, we've been using the dealers, the Unichip. We've been using the Unichip products since 1993. Oh wow. Yeah, so a very, very long time. <laughs> uh, since then, we took over and we've become a uni chip distributor in 2011. Oh, excellent. Good from, on you. Yeah, from there, we've developed these kits to yep. go pretty much everything that you could want to jam into a kit yep. or a system, mm -hmm. uh, we have. We've yep. really taken it to the next level. All of these harnesses are designed by us in house. Yep. And we get them manufactured in South Africa. Excellent. So, Beautiful. So, you guys are uh, Mr. Unichip. You guys know your thing. Yeah, that's it. Excellent. All right, Paul. Well, enough talking. Let's go get this done. Get I'm excited. No worries. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Okay, guys. Put it down on the dyno now. Cut it all down. This is where the fun begins. Now, I took the spawn barrel on this little, but as I've driven it in, I'm going to do a power run and see what power it makes. So, it should be interesting. Really excited about this. Alright, let's see how we go. Okay, now, it's all connected up. It's on the rollers. And they've just set up a computer. And very important to go to a, a good company, a reputable company because people can lie with the dyno figures just by different settings. So, it's a good thing. Take it somewhere. Someone's got a very good reputation. If you're in Melbourne, highly recommend Dynamotive. They know what they're talking about. And, and we'll speak to Paul and he'll give us a bit of information about Dynamotive. So, let's see how we go. Okay, now we've got Rob um, pulling out the Steinbauer. Rob, this would be a good feeling for you, wouldn't it? Pulling out the Steinbauer, putting Thank in the uni chip. Thank you. <laughs> I can imagine. The dyno run wasn't too bad with the Steinbauer, um, from what Rob said. Um, it did gain a little bit from factory, um, but I suppose they do play it really safe, don't they? Rob, a very generic tune, so yeah, that's safe right. for everyone. Yeah, yeah just uh, safe gains. Mm hmm Conservative. Yep. I suppose they need to when they're sitting behind an office just programming them and sending them out everywhere. Yeah, especially with no built-in safety as such, like water temperature protection or EGT, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, now the spine bell is out. As you can see, that's the module. That's the cabling. Look, a very good unit. Very good unit. I'm not bad mouthing or baking anyway. And as I said, I've had it in a few cars, never had an issue with it. Really, really good. But, there's the new system, the Unijet. Very excited. Let's see how we go. Oh, yes, this is what it's all about. New Unijet Q4. Beautiful. Okay, I just saw Rob putting this in and I was curious. Now, Rob, what are you doing there? What, what is that? Yeah, so it's um, dielectric grease. It's basically just a, a waterproof grease. Just helps with um, corrosion and just water. 
all right so the terminals and that so stop, just, stop some shit getting in there and yeah. making a bad connection and yeah that's right just, beautiful uh, helps with corrosion excellent so you guys you take it to a good company that knows what they're doing they do all these little extra things that you wouldn't even think about very very important thanks rob no problems Guys, that's a good thing about coming to a good company, someone that knows what they're doing. Just having a chat here with Rob, I wanted a few things done with the, with the tune um, to suit me a little bit better when we're out four-wheel driving. Um, and his, his answer is, we can do it. We can basically do anything to, well, anything that's realistic, um, but they can tune it to what you need. That's what you need. You can't go to some generic place that slaps it in and that's it. They do a quick tune on it, they don't know what they're doing, and they could probably damage your car. Guys, go to some someone that knows what they're doing. Very important. Okay, now another service they do um, is they clean out the EGR, all the valves and all that in there as well. Um, apparently, if they're over the forty thousand k's, guys, the cars that come in. Paul was saying, yeah, yes, yeah, so it's over forty thousand. We pull the top of the uh, intake off and give it a good clean up. Excellent. So now we'll be able to see exactly how much build up of crap there is in there. Now this one's done 60,000 Ks and I've just recently put on the catch can so wouldn't have had too much effect as yet. Okay, as you can see now, it's all cleaned. Very, very different to how it was before. Right. Look at that inside, the build-up it had. Look at that. Unbelievable. Much, much better now. Much better now. Check it out. Like new. So you've got your, um, obviously map one is high power. Mm -hmm. uh, map two, we've set it up with the tunnel tune. Yep. Uh, map number three is your four by four. Excellent. And that's a pretty cool map because yeah. we play with the throttle pedal. Yeah. And the throttle the throttle pedal. So it gets rid of that whole bounce in as you're going up a track. Fantastic. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. A lot of positive feedback with that. Yep. We've also done something pretty interesting that you asked about. Yep. Which was a 2000 RPM high mm -hmm. idle tune. Yep. And something that is becoming really popular with these is the immobiliser tune on that. Yeah, part. excellent. 
Yeah, yeah the, they were explaining it to me, and yeah, excellent feature. Yeah. If people are familiar with it, mm. you wouldn't think to play around with it. So, yeah. and if you push the accelerator all the way down, it doesn't rev up, doesn't go anywhere, it just stays on idle. Fantastic. Yeah. And the 2000 RPM basically did that. If we're going up a big hill, it's mm-hmm. rocky, you know, I can put it in second gear low range. Yep. At 2000, the thing will crawl its way up. That's exactly right. So, trial and error, I'll give you feedback on it, see if it works or not. It works in my head. That's it. See how we go. Paul. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks, George. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you again. Yeah, that's it. Cheers. Thank you. Take care. See you, Okay, guys. Um, driven it away from Dynamotive. Feels much more responsive. A hell of a lot more power. The clutch seems to be slipping, even though there is a heavy-duty clutch in there. Um, so I've got to figure that out, sort that out, and we'll have to do it then. Okay, but fantastic so far, loving it. Very, very good, feels very responsive, a lot more power. Um, But for now, that's it. I'll talk a little bit later on it when I can test everything out. Cheers, guys. Okay, guys, now as you can see, there's a direct comparison between the Unichip and the Steinbauer. Now, the Steinbauer did make decent power. Um, Now, as you'll see up here, that's the kilowatt reading. Now the Steinbauer was on one, one, two, three. So about 130 kilowatts at the rear, at the rear tires on 35s. The Unichip is at 159.5 kilowatts, and that's with the clutch slipping in fourth gear. So I will have to redo it once we put in a different clutch. At the moment, it's got the Outback Extreme Heavy Duty but that one's only good for five, 590 newton meters of torque, and as you'll see, this produced more, uh, and that's the flywheel, so this produced a hell of a lot more, so it's starting to slip. They've got an extra heavy duty now that they do, um, which is gonna need to go in here. Now, torque comparisons. Maximum torque here is at about 430 newton meters um, with the Steinbauer. Um, and you can see that one there's the uni chip the uni chip has gone up to uh, 595 newton meters um, at the tires so at at the flywheel that's a lot more um, a lot more so really happy with these results um, now i haven't been able to do the fourth gear direct comparison because it is slipping in the top power um, mode the map so i'll have to do that at a later stage and we'll see i'll might do another video or something but we'll see how we go it feels much better um it feels much stronger i've only got on the towing setting so it's about 100 newton meters less uh, kilowatts are less as well um but do a couple trips we'll see how we go didn't have enough time to do it um i am off to flinders rangers very soon so just wasn't enough time to get a clutch put in anyway guys that's it very happy with the uni chip very happy with the guys at dynamotive um quality is the service quality the workmanship really really happy with it it's a family-owned business very very good very good dealing with them um and what else that's about it Guys, there's a direct comparison. I said Steinbauer was a very good chip. I've had on a few of my cars, a few different models, and very, very good chip for off the shelf, something that you buy, never had an issue with, and if you search it, people don't have issues with them. They're very, very good. Uni chip is just taking it to the next level where you do take the car on the dyno and get it mapped in real time on the dyno. So depending on what you want, people want that security of the Steinbauer, other people prefer the uni chip look after i tow with it that's when i'll give you my honest feedback but feeling it without towing big enhancement with the uni chip very happy with it okay guys thank you see you in the next video break the cage and get outdoors guys